Hello to all, welcome to our magic tutorials for chemistry. So last time we started with the organic chemistry, hello alkanes and hello arenes chapter. So we'll continue the topic today. Uh, we'll discuss the chemical reactions of aryl halides that is a benzene ring and to the ring a halogen is attached. So first we will discuss about the nucleophilic substitution reactions. So nucleophilic substitution reactions, right? That means a nucleophile will substitute a halogen. But aryl halides, they are less reactive towards nucleophilic substitution reactions. So let's check the reasons. So resonance, that is the first reason here. So resonance, what happens? We'll take an example of chlorobenzene, correct? Her aryl halide it is. How many electrons will be there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. One electron is here, 7 of chlorine. This is for the carbon, right? So, chlorine it has 3 lone pair of electrons here. So, it will undergo resonance, right? Correct, it will undergo resonance. So, during resonance what happens? The lone pair of electrons will form a bond here, correct? So, a double bond is there between carbon and the chlorine atom. Between carbon and the halogen, a double bond is there during the resonance. Right. So, what happens if the number of bonds increases? If the number of bond is increasing, then bond order, we can call it as a bond order, right? Bond order increases. Two bonds are there, double bond. So, the bond length will decrease. Correct. If the bond length decreases, it will become a small bond. Small bond. Therefore, bond enthalpy will be more. It's a very small bond, right? So, more energy is required to break that bond. So, the bond enthalpy energy needed to break that bond will be more or it will increase. Correct. So, during resonance, a double bond is produced between carbon and the halogen. Correct. What is uh, resonance? Delocalization of electrons. Therefore, if a double bond is there means bond order is more. Therefore, the bond length will decrease. And at the same time, the bond enthalpy will increase. More energy is needed to break that bond. So, the first reason is resonance. To break that bond between carbon and this halogen, more energy is required. And the double bond is created because of the resonance. Right? So, this is the first reason why aryl halides are less reactive towards Nucleophilic substitution reactions. Instability of phenyl cation. Now, why I am writing here phenyl cation? That means what? This is the halogen attached to the benzene ring. Correct? It undergoes self ionization. Okay, it will undergo self ionization. So, self-ionization means the bond between the carbon and Cl, it will break. So, what will happen to the carbon now? If the bond is breaking, this carbon will make how many bonds? Only three bonds. Correct? It is making only three bonds. So, Cl minus is left behind. That is self-ionized. And... Phenyl cation is produced. This is called as a phenyl cation. Correct? And this phenyl cation, here the carbon which is present over here, it is making how many bonds? 1, 2 and 3 bonds only. Carbon valency is 4 but it is making 3 bonds. Therefore, it is unstable. So, we explain it as because of self-ionization, the phenyl cation is unstable. So, this is the second reason why nucleophilic substitution reactions does not happen in aryl halides. So, the next reason 
hybridization of carbon atom correct in resonance as i told you between carbon and cl between carbon in the ring benzene ring between carbon and the chlorobenzene a double bond is created because of resonance right more the bond order the bond length will be small correct moreover this carbon it is attached to the chlorine with a double bond so the hybridization of this carbon will be sp2 hybridized correct sp2 hybridized okay sp2 hybridized and the bond length will be small the bond length is 169 picometer correct if we just want to compare it with a single bond that is c to cl if it is a single bond in case of alkyl halides right so c to cl if it is a single bond the bond length will be more because the bond order is only one so here the bond length is 179 picometer just i'm uh, telling you to just compare it so single bond if the bond order is one bond length will be more and you can see that is 179 picometer two bonds bond order is two right so the bond length will be small and the length is 169 picometer smaller the bond stronger will be the bond correct so hybridization of that carbon in benzene ring which is attached to chlorine it is sp2 hybridized one more reason is electron repulsion so what is resonance delocalization of electrons correct in resonance what happens the electrons are delocalized the electrons are delocalized right the electrons will be at different positions ortho para positions of benzene it will come here first it will come here it will be here correct so what is happening the electrons are around the benzene ring so what is nucleophile that is also negative in nature correct so when a nucleophile tries to attack the ring or want to get attached to the ring what will happen here already electrons which are negatively charged they are present nucleophile is also negative so what will happen repulsion will take place correct so aryl halides they are less reactive towards nucleophilic substitution reactions because of these reasons